Hello and welcome to Nabster Gaming as we continue our journey near the end game oh, hey. of the story. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is that the gate to the astral realm? It looks even scarier up close. Strange, isn't it? Gateways are usually a symbol of hope and new opportunity. Not this one. Like Roland said, if that door opens, then the skies will fall. We won't let it open. Yep, we'll beat Lilith, grab Roland, then skedaddle out of here. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, just before we head into the, uh, what looks like a boss fight, I have been doing a bit of a review of the Let's Play. Uh, this is my first Let's Play, well, proper Let's Play of the channel. Um, I noticed that there was some echoing going on in a lot of, the, like, midway through the series, and that was um, after mm -hmm. hours and hours of trying to figure it out. It mm -hmm. was basically after uh, an Elgato update, uh, it changed my settings to take sound from both my system um, and the game, which is why there is a bit of an echo. Um, so yeah, apologies for that, but I'm hoping it's fixed from now on, and I guess all part of learning from my kind of creator journey. But enough about that. Let's take out some of that frustration on Lilith, hopefully. Had you only seen things my way, this pitiful fate could have been avoided. Why must you insist on quarreling with your own brethren? It's unfathomable, truly. <laughs> ah, shaman. Impeccable timing, as always, I see. Can you feel the grip of imminent salvation? I invite you and your other half to watch. <laughs> and it is this betrayal. <laughs> hmm. Where did I go wrong? Trying to destroy the world. Lion. Well, that escalated quickly. Once I reach Estelusia, I shall guide this world to Utopia. Why would anyone reject my heartfelt invitation? Ah, how I pity you poor misguided creatures. Yeah, like we give a crap about anything you say. Your messed up Utopia is built on sacrifice. No way we're letting that fly. Options fail me. I can no longer sway your hearts or minds. As a parting gift, may you all find solace in death's warm embrace. All right, let's do this. It Please, don't disappoint me any further. You can still redeem yourself. Eradicate these nuisances and come back to Mother. No. Please listen to me. I think you've lost sight of the big picture. What a few skydons when compared to all of eternity. Now! I can just absorb Angra Mind you. I'm a 
afraid that's impossible. Angra Mining is completely under my command. Seems I'm a bit short on power. Astraeus, be a dear, won't you? Damn! Hang in there, Roland. We're gonna save you! That glow. Could it be from all the friction? An unanticipated annoyance. They went still as soon as the portal stopped. We can use that to our advantage. You're mine! Take this! Ken! Break him away! There's no way that's the fight.
Hey, look, the gateway's closing. I'm sorry to preclude celebrations, but we're not done yet. For a fraction of my soul, I'll buy all your death! Her power's blowing into Angra Mainyu. She's attempting a fusion. Is she that desperate to live on, even if it means she'll stop being an astral? Oh, great gatekeeper! Angra Mainyu! I beseech you, bequeath your power onto me! Take this vessel! I am yours! Invested in our skies. No, 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 so many of them. Don't let the pressure get to you. Just focus on beating them one at a time. I will you up. just keep coming. How are we supposed to get to Angra Mighty now? Oh, that was weak. I think I can buy us some time. I need everyone to gather around. I love it when other people make the plan. Fight your way to roll it, everyone. This affair we have here. Let's calm it down before it gets more out of hand. I want that spare. Look at how you've united the sky. It's time for us to join as one. The world rests in our hands. What fun is a death match if my opponents are already dead? This is the moment of truth. Do not falter! 
Whatsoever you decide, we will follow your lead. Each shot costs us a mill. Okay, so what? Those folks are betting their lives out there. So shut your yaps and keep firing! Everyone's here! Our bonds are stronger than ever. We shall prevail! Let's show her what's up, Captain. Us Sky Dwellers are taking a stand. Yeah! Promises, aggrandizing yourself until the people worship you as a god. You took advantage of their faith and raised armies that overran the Stega Grande sky. Think back on all the violence you've incited. Does that really look like a path to utopia? Your megalomania is a threat. No matter where you are, I will never let you return to Estelustia. Thanks, Captain. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, Bane, invincibility, please. Are you kidding me? Those giant hands are back. Yeah, along with those lugs from before. Let's just hope the shadows don't turn up again. Destroy the new arrivals. We can't afford any distractions. Distractions? Is the understatement of the century? Stab laser beams. Thanks. Bet you wish you hadn't messed with us now.
great. I see through you. Strike two. Now, we can handle the blood and cooperation, people. Super speaking. No one person can determine right or wrong.
Trying to get the ultimate on for the for the hype finish. It's over now. Please, no more bloodshed. Sacrificing this world and its people. It's not too late. It. I'll accept my fate. So please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't been truthful with you from the start. forth from thy vessel and awaken. Claim thy divine right. The sky is once more yours to sunder and renew. Primeval dragon, child of darkness and flames! <laughs> It's okay. Let me be the one to save you. Huh? Perhaps I acted in haste. So swiftly you sensed the dimensional distortion. Oh, meddlesome wings. You who defy the stars. You will sleep within this child, until I have further need of you. <laughs> Come, the stars await, and we mustn't keep them. 
The true beginning stirs. All right, so it's like a flashback of how she met Ed. Id had become a dragon and vanished into the somber skies. His roar, which echoed like a distant peal of thunder, electrified me with sadness. <sighs> Can't believe it. I thought if we beat Angra Mainyu, we'd be free to go on our merry way. No kidding! Why did Id have to go off and become a hermit? Right. In which case... Hey, what are you thinking about, Rowan? It's like you've got all your gears whirring. It's starting to come together now. Especially if she used a mind sealer on him. The Mind Sealer is what they used to rob Lyria of her free will. What does it have to do with Bahamut? Everything. Lilith and Bahamut, destruction and rebirth, everything is linked. How about giving us the gist? Essentially, it comes down to why Lilith failed to wake Angra Mainyu 15 years ago. I heard the Sky Realm's Bahamut appeared after sensing an overwhelming astral presence. Perhaps that was more than rumor. You call that the gist? I'm even more confused. <sighs> Sorry. Fifteen years ago, Lilith summoned Angra Mainyu. At the same time, Bahamut manifested to face her. But this was not the same Bahamut you all know. Let us call it Bahamut Versa. It sensed the unfathomable power of Angra Mainyu and consumed it. Stopping Lilith in her tracks. But now... Perhaps, to remove Bahamut from the picture, Lilith trapped the Primal inside Id, using the Mind Sealer. Okay, but that doesn't explain why she suddenly freed Versa. Does she want to wreck the skies, or what? She once told Id that she would destroy the world to bring about its rebirth. Versa is more than capable of forcing reincarnation upon the Sky Realm. In any case, we know one thing for sure. If we leave Versa to its own devices, it will be the end of all life as we know it. You've got to be kidding! How are we going to defeat a world crusher? And what's going to happen to Id? You aren't asking us to kill him, are you?
Not gonna happen. Thank you. He doesn't deserve death. Huh. Still got a debt to settle with that punk. Can't let him off so easily. How do you know it's still in there? Even Bahamut's got nothing on it. Exactly. Guy with a stick that far up his butt, even an apocalyptic dragon couldn't push him down. <laughs> even if we can't get through to him, he'll survive a beating. He trounced us, right? <sighs> I've been around for a long time, but you Sky Dwellers never... S I never would have dreamed that a single crew could save Tempeel. Or pacify Excavalion, or defeat Angra Mine you. But you've taught me that it's not longevity or physical strength that's important. It's the power of your heart. You have my complete faith. I believe that nothing in all the world. It's settled. We smack Versa like a pinata till it coughs up air. Cool. Yeah. Cool, gonna wrap things up there. I will see you in the next. Thanks for watching.